good price, a few cents a piece that I use for some uh, lighting projects and um, uh, you know, buildings and that sort of thing, fluorescent lights and, and buildings and that sort of thing. It's a um, pretty bright white LED, and uh, but it's a good thing to practice on too because they're fairly inexpensive. You'll notice that there's a longer lead uh, on the LED and a shorter lead. The longer lead is going to be the positive lead, and I like to put the resistor in the positive lead. It's just kind of a quirk of mine. Uh, doesn't really matter. There's nothing magical about it. So what I'm going to do, if you get it positioned just right here, you can see that there's kind of a some die marks on the uh, on the LED. Well, just inboard of that first of the die mark on the longer lead, I'm going to cut that lead, and there it is. So now I have the lead prepared, ready for the wire to go onto it. I'm just going to clamp it in those uh, pliers that I talked about, and. Uh, I'm a scuba diver. I need something to hold these pliers down. I'm a scuba diver, so I have lots of lead shot bags running around, and that's what this is. It's a couple pounds of lead shot in a bag, and uh, that makes it uh, real easy to hold the um, hold those little tweezers down. Now I've cut the resistor off uh, fairly short, and we're ready to uh, to go to work uh, soldering. Off uh, screen here, you can hear me. Uh, cleaning the tip on the soldering iron in the, in the wet sponge and we're gonna uh, bring in